Welcome to the first ever episode of Super Gamer Boys 2, the sequel, Too Fast, Too Funny. Just so you know, all sound effects that were just done in studio were all from the mind and mouth of Garrett Morlang. <laughs> I I have never seen a Fast and Furious movie, but I imagine that's what it's like because of those sound effects right there. Dude, are you serious? You've never I've seen never any seen a Fast and Furious movie. I cannot believe that out of the two of us in this room, neither of us have seen any Fast and Furious <laughs> movies. I've never seen any either, but I love that you chose that for our name for our special podcast. Uh, yes, this is... Uh, I've seen other movies with The Rock in it. I've oh, also yeah. seen the other Rock's movies great. with Vin Diesel in it. Vin Diesel's great too. But I always look at the racing movies and I'm like, ah, I'm good. I mean, I, I definitely want to watch them one day, but I just they're just never on Netflix. I know they were just recently on Netflix, so I'm saying that, but really, they're, they are there. But you can say it. Nobody I just, will know the difference. <laughs> just say it like you mean it. Yeah, but uh, I'm your host, uh, Garrett Morlang. And, and I'm your uh, other host, J.J. Purdom. And uh, normally we do a show called Super Gamer Boys, um, where we talk about nerdy things and uh, goof off and, you know, have fun and talk about fun things that we do in our lives. But this- we Like pest control and fighting with our wives <laughs> and occasionally um, stealing gas. Yeah. It sounds mostly like that, that. Those are mostly things that you've talked about, but- <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of do <laughs> talk about most, except for the gas stealing thing. I just kind of let that blurt out. I was trying to keep that under my, under my hat. Oopsie! Like it was a kilo of coke. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, but uh, this week we're bringing you uh, this new show, Super Gamer Boys Two, the sequel, Too Fast, Too Funny, because uh, we uh, aren't able to record an episode fresh for you next week. Well. Uh, I mean, this week, uh, <laughs> right? We're, we're recording this a week in advance, but just pretend I never said that. Yeah, that's my jelly mind trick I did there. Um, but uh, yeah, we thought we'd give you a little taster. This probably won't go super long. I don't plan on it being the length of our regular episode. <laughs> I plan on dragging this crap out. But uh, <laughs> but we just thought we'd give a little taste of, uh, or not even give you a little taste, give ourselves a little taste. We're we're trying out this whole comedy podcast thing because that's one of our Patreon goals. If you go over to patreon.com slash supergamerboys and support us at any of the levels there, we have a goal on there where if we can reach, um, I think I forgot to look it up again. Seven million dollars. It was between, no, it was either $60, uh, I think it was 60 bucks a month. If we can hit that goal where we're making at least 60 out of all of our, you know, not just one person, but all of our uh, sponsors or uh, supporters, uh, we can make a total of 60 bucks a month. We'll give you guys a bonus episode just for you Patreon supporters. And it will be a comedy podcast where we do more silly stuff like this. And it's just going to be a fun little extra little tidbit of our lives that you probably don't want, but you're going to like it. Dang it. Yeah, we're forcing it on you. It's like we're taking and, and creating something that wasn't there before. So it's all different and new, and we are trying to think outside of the box, as they say. We're going for a different format. We're not doing the video games, even though you're listening to a video game podcast. Isn't that interesting? But I promise you, in everything that we say, Garrett is still a nerd. So everything that comes out of his mouth will still be nerdy. Oh, definitely. In every way. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we thought what better way to get people to support us on Patreon than uh, give them a tidbit of what they might get by supporting us on Patreon. So really, this is just a ploy. This there. is a ploy to just make more money. So there <laughs> you go. I is. said it. I said it's, it. it's a super money grab. He's always <laughs> trying to blame it on me. But you you can support us on Patreon if you went if you go to patreon.com slash super gamer boys. Yeah, you can support us just like our Patreon producer, Matt Liu. Uh, shout out to Matt. Uh, he's killing it with, uh, we do our losing review segment on our regular podcast um, where we review bad movies. Uh, and a lot of them have had Nicolas Cage, uh, which the people love. They love the cage. Yeah, and, and he, he did make us watch some pretty bad ones before we started watching the Nick Cage movies. And uh, he, Matt may or may not have gotten one bag of flaming dog crap on his front door. Um, <laughs> he didn't know that was from us. <gasps> oh. Oh, well, awkward. Um, <laughs> a shout out to our Patreon sponsor, Bill Bird, as well, uh, for keeping it real each and every week. Without him, we uh, 
What? He's the one who did the dog poo on Matt's <laughs> door. Without, so you know it was it was Bill Bird. Yeah. Sorry, Bill. Without Bill, we would not have a sponsor. So there you go. Nice. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Um so I do not have a name for this segment. Because Wait, is it, we, what, we, this, this, what is be, the first segment? To be completely honest, this was an off the cuff thing that we thought would be fun since we have an extra few minutes to record another episode for next week. So we're flying off the seat of our pants. I don't have a run of show. Normally you were like on the ball, OCD with your little list. I, and a, I always I, look at I, it. I have and I a laugh. run of show in quotes. It's like four bullet points. It just <laughs> says, be funny, be funny, be funny. And don't say anything racist. And then has JJ's name Why does next it have my it? name on it? I <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I'm, I'm trying to be friends right now. Um, but uh, we're going to get into the news. <gasps> Wait, is it time for the nerdy news? No, not nerdy news this week. This is our funny podcast, JJ. We're, oh. This is the silly news of the week. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it doesn't do we, quite have the same we, ring as wait, nerdy nudes. Do we, have, uh, do we have like a silly jingle? Uh, <laughs> I mean, you can we can figure that out later. Unless you have something off the top of your head right now. It's time, it's time, it's time for the silly news. It almost sounds oddly similar to the nerdy news jingle. I'm just going to throw that one out there. Not that we have a, a consistent jingle, that's for sure. It switches up week to week. Yeah, it week, changes but. up. It kind of depends on how much CBD I was smoking right before the pod. <laughs> Jeez, you and the freaking CBD. You know, I still haven't done it. I've been wanting to, though. I think it would be kind of cool. I'm just kind of <laughs> worried about the munchies. Um... You know what? We're going to get into this next news story. <laughs> Moving on. Um, oh, did you see this? They have the winning Mega Millions numbers. <laughs> it's just at the top of the screen here for this news article. Oh. Uh, for, They're so, giving it to us so we can so play and go. win? 8, 16, 31, 48, 52, 23. So if you have those numbers, you won last week. <laughs> you heard it here first on the Super <laughs> Gamer Boys. You're, you're winning Mega Millions numbers. It would be so great uh, if one of our listeners was like, holy crap! <laughs> I have no idea until I listen to this podcast. <laughs> Thank God for the Super Gamer Boys. I would love to just give them money. So yeah, whoever wins uh, the Mega Millions, there just you know, there was a cool million. It'd be you know, we'd be indebted each. to you for life. A cool million each. Um, here's uh, our first news story here. Or you just give me two million, and I'll make sure that Garrett gets it. Because yeah. I know you have that whole thing with the you know not actually being from this country. So I'll help you. I'll help you put that in an account. For okay, you. I'll take okay. care of you. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um. So first story here, uh, South Carolina woman charged after allegedly throwing a snake at a woman and stealing her car. Uh, <laughs> so wait a second. So she steals her car by throwing a snake at this woman? This is like how she holds her up? So I'm going to read this story for you. And what we're going to do here uh, is just really get inside the mind of this uh, hardened criminal here. So, I don't know if that's possible, Gary. <laughs> this this new story comes from uh, myfox8.com. Uh, I don't know where in the country that is from, but it's a thing. Uh, does not have a name, so sorry, can't cite my source. Greenville, South Carolina. Police say a Greenville woman is accused of assaulting a woman by throwing a snake at her, stealing her car, and driving it through barriers downtown. Police said that they were called to investigate a carjacking report at 8.20 p.m. Friday. The victim told police that a woman threw a black snake at her and stole her SUV. At around 8.30 p.m., an officer saw someone drive through barriers that were set up for a pole vaulting event scheduled for Saturday. <laughs> Officers said a woman identified later as, uh, blah, blah, her name doesn't matter, refused to stop when an officer tried to perform a traffic stop, police say they were then led on a chase that ended when the SUV hit an occupied vehicle. Uh, she was taken to the Greenville County Detention Center after she was arrested trying to get into a church. <laughs> this is like one thing after another. It just like, keeps adding to this beautiful story here. Maybe it was a Pentecostal and she's um, one of those snake handlers and she was trying to bless the South woman. It is South Carolina. Just saying. It is South Carolina. Might have tried to have been making her drink some of the venom, and she was trying to bless her with the, the snake. Uh, she's charged with carjacking and several other charges. Please say they released the non-venomous snake into the woods. <laughs> so the news here is that uh, the the snake is fine, uh, completely unharmed, went off into the woods, and uh, went home and had quite the story to tell her, you know, his or her family when when they got back to the nest. 
So I'm glad to hear that. I like how you said his or her. You wanted to make sure it was I like, mean, you don't know. You never know. I mean, you, they don't have bits that hang off them. You can't like look at them and be like, yep, that's a dude. They don't? I've never seen a snake with bits. Uh, yeah, I've never <laughs> looked at for their bits. I think it would be kind of like weird. <laughs> yeah, right? To, you know. I feel like there would be a lot more... Uh, um, <laughs> Whoa! Did you see the sack on that snake? <laughs> There'd be a lot more uh, friction there. It'd be a little hard to move there around is. as a snake with all those extra bits around. Well, that's why they don't have bits because they've rubbed them all off, walking <laughs> and like rubbing around on the ground like that. Oh no! Uh, I I just want to know what was going through the woman's mind who was like, "Hey, what I'm going to do right now is go find a snake and throw it at someone and steal their car." Like, how do you come to that point where you're just like, "Yeah, this is a thing I'm going to do, and it's a good idea." Well, I'm not really sure what she was thinking, but I guess it's a little safer than like pulling a gun. Nobody got killed, right? She pulled a snake. It wasn't even a venomous snake. That's, they said that in the article. Uh, so uh, what I would say is I'm thinking this woman was trying to bless her with the snake. The lady got scared of the snake and jumped out of her car and took off running. And the woman with the snake just probably stopped the car while it was rolling and she was trying to save other people. And then the cops are pulling over. Then she got scared and didn't know what to do. And at that point, it ended up getting pulled over by the cops. I think that really she's a hero. Uh, okay. I don't know about that. I do not feel that way at all. But No, I don't either. I don't know, know why I own, said that. Their own, I don't think you know? any of that's true. <laughs> I think she's a, a, a horrible criminal throwing but snakes at people. What, what I love here is how it goes from first she throws a snake, then she steals a car, then she runs into a barrier, like a wall. She basically she runs into a wall, and then... She decides to uh, go into the church. Run in, run to a church. We got to like know what kind. Of, we got to know what kind of church it is. Because if it was a certain type of church, you know, she might have been trying to go in and get more snakes. Maybe, to maybe fight off the cops. I mean, I, maybe they got. I also love the little random details in here where it's like uh, the barrier, the like the reason the barriers were set up. Uh, they were barriers that were set up for a pole vaulting event scheduled for Saturday. In case you were wondering, you know, uh, and then. Uh, yeah, then the whole, like, the random little tidbit of her, like, trying to get into a church, stuff like that. It's, it's just gold. This is gold. What a world do we live in. Um, I, could, I could totally see the the whole situation. Does it say what kind of car she's driving? It was an SUV. That's all we know. Okay. I'm going to say a pickup truck. Forget the SUV. Okay. I'm thinking it's going to be an old, beat-up, two-tone. It's got, like, it's primered gray with, like, one white door, and the hood is yellow for some reason. I don't know why. And uh, you see this, the woman who's who's uh, got the snake and is doing the kidnapping, I'm going to say she's heavy. Let's just assume she's from South Carolina and uh, she's got a snake with her. She's pushing three bills. We're, we're talking a good 300 pounds. Okay, we're looking at the photo right now. She's huge. She's maybe 400. I was close. There's a snake. And just so you know, this is here's, not in Florida. Once again, car. this is in South Carolina. There's the car. You can sort of see the car. It says it's a silver. It looks like a Suzuki or something, maybe a Honda. Yeah, pretty bizarre. Okay, so she she might have been high on PCP. Oh, definitely. Yeah, you know, there there might have been some PCP <laughs> going, or maybe she might have been high. Maybe the reason the snake wasn't venomous is because she sucked it all out right before. There we go. That's probably was exactly it. Out of its bits. And that's why she was that's why she was crazy out of her mind is because she sucked. She was the venom high. Out of it. And that's <sighs> that was the thing. She just needs to run with that with the religious angle and just be like, I was high on the, the venom of the Lord or <laughs> whatever it is oh, they gosh. think. I don't know. Okay, let's get Not into this. Not there's anything wrong with that. Let's get into this next news story here. Um this comes from Huff Post. Um Man arrested in Spain had cocaine under toupee. Uh, <laughs> There's a picture on our screen right now. And this is the greatest photo I've ever seen in my whole life. Oh, and I've seen pictures of no. my kids being born and you know, like, oh, this is the best thing I've ever seen. Google Google that headline, man arrested in Spain, or just like, yeah, whatever you have to Google, go to HuffPost and find this article. It's from today, July 16th. Uh <laughs> Police said the man attracted their attention because he looked nervous and had a disproportionately large hairpiece under his hat. And then there's there's a photo of the man, uh, uh, a sweet old man in a blue sweater vest, 
uh, with a kilo of cocaine on his head. Um. <laughs> He's like, it is, it is so evidently this, this large bag of coke. <laughs> that is on this dude's head. And the thing is, he's a small Colombian man. Yeah. He's not tall, but that bag like adds inches to his oh, height. Oh, yeah. It's like three inches tall and so, like probably six inches wide. Like it was <laughs> laying on this huge kilo of cocaine on his head. How much? Now, this dude's from Colombia. How much coke do you think he did before he thought, this is a great idea. Okay, I'm going to put the coke on my head and I'm going to put it to pay and then I'm going to put a hat and it's going to be beautiful. We're going to get away with it. No problem. It's going to be great. No idea. I, I um, can only imagine. <laughs> So here's the article. I don't want to put it in my butt. I'm going to put it on my head. Because <laughs> if I put it in my butt, it's going to hurt. But I put it on my head, nobody knows the difference. <laughs> a Colombian man was detained at Barcelona's international airport after, a, oh, sorry, half a kilo. It's still a freaking That's little, still a it's giant, still giant amount giant, of coke. Like in the picture, it's huge. Um, a half a kilo of cocaine was found hidden under an oversized toupee. Uh, arriving on a flight from Bogota, the man attracted police attention as he looked nervous and had a disproportionately large hairpiece under his hat. They found a package stuck to his head with about $34,000 of cocaine. <laughs> there was no limit to the inventiveness of drug traffickers trying to mock controls. Uh, the statement closed a photo of a middle-aged man apparently still wearing the toupee, though with his eyes blocked in the image, but gave no more details of his identity. Um, and if you look closely at his, his nasal passages, uh, there's a little bit of white coke residue on that. Because you know this dude was just lining him up right before. He had to have been. And he had to get all psyched up to just go for this. He's like all like, slapping is, himself. He's, like, he's doing no, like that. It was his friend's idea, and he's like, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. And so they're like, oh, I got the thing. This will you know, this will help you. This will get you in the mind space. And he's like, okay, I'm ready to go. Like he's like did a bunch. Uh, <laughs> I could only imagine them them like walking up to him and like handing him the toupee and him going to put it on over the Coke. And he's like putting it on, and it's like, oh, man, you really thought that was going to fly? You know he had to be high to think that was going to work. Yeah, no, I, I'm i not sure what he was thinking, but boy, is it a make for a great picture. This might be my new uh, phone background now. Whenever I turn on my phone, I want to see this man with a half it, kilo of cocaine on his head. It, it looks like he's got like the Princess Leia uh, little coral yeah, it looks, it looks like a, on his yeah, head. It looks know? like a giant bun, but instead of, yeah, like a Princess Leia bun, but instead of on either side of his head, it's just one big one on top of his head. Oh, so good. So good. Um, and then this one, uh, just real quick, I thought was actually kind of absurd. Uh, hikers call cops after mistaking traffic sounds for wild pig chasing them. Uh, what one woman described as a growling pig turned out to just be cars driving over a rumble strip on a nearby road. I think this was another case of somebody being a high on cocaine. coke. <laughs> a lot of cocaine. They were high on coke and they're like, hey, man, let's go for a hike. <laughs> I'm so amped right now. We got to go for a hike right now. Uh, two lost hikers were left feeling a little sheepish. Uh, uh, what am I reading here? Oh, after calling for help over what they thought was an aggressive wild pig chasing them down. Um, in reality, the sound that the pair mistook for vicious grunting and snorting was actually nearby cars going over a rumble strip on the road. This took place in Texas. Uh, according to the department, a woman called 911 from inside Government Canyon State Park around 11.30 p.m. on June 21st, saying that she had climbed a tree to get away from an animal that had been growling and following her. She was ultimately put in touch with a park police officer and urged him to please hurry because an animal she believed to be a wild pig was nearby and growling. The officer initially had trouble finding her, but managed to get to her location after she sent him her, loca her location via a text message on her phone. Once there, the officer found that she was in the tree with another person, but there was no sign of any wild pig. However, the officer did hear a car drive over a nearby rumble strip and asked the hikers if that was a sound that they were talking about. It was. This is like... <laughs> yeah, like what, what kind of weird rumble That's strip do they use like, in Texas? They're, they're like, oh my goodness, it's a wild boar or something and it's trying to attack us. It sounds so aggressive. You can hear it. I just never should have done that much damn coke. I swear. <laughs> Call the cops, Becky, for crying out loud. I just, I just cannot imagine. Like, so the only reason, like, I think, I think what makes this funnier is, 
I can see, I can imagine this. I can see this happening in my head because this is basically just my mother. I'm just going to say it straight out there. Like, I'm sorry, mom. I know you listen to this and you're going to be like, I can't believe you said that about me. But, uh, my mom is so deathly afraid of like the dark and night and like animals. Like we, in upstate New York where we lived, like we lived out in the woods and we would go out in the woods regularly. My dad and my brother, like we all hunt out in the woods and we hung out in the woods and we've been out in the woods in the dark. And, uh, my mom was like loses it. Like there was one time she was out in the woods. Uh, my dad had shot a deer. He had to go um, get uh, something. I forget if he got like the car. The, I think he's getting the truck or something to come pick up the deer that he just, you know, hunted, shot. It was going to be our dinner. Uh, and he left my mom there in the dark in the middle of the woods with the dead deer because he didn't want to lose it. Like it took him hours to find the thing. And he had to go back and, and get something to pick it up now because he didn't want to. I, I think that's how the story went there. Um, and my mom just go, like, tells a story like she was just like deathly afraid. Like she just like was screaming and like crying and praying <laughs> and just like singing songs and like standing up on top of this tree stump, like with a flashlight, like scared to death. And I just, so that's what I picture here is just like my mom up in a tree, like, Oh my gosh, what is happening? What am I doing here? Oh my God, what is that sound? Like, cause you just hype yourself out. You just like, oh. you know, it's all psyched up. That's oh, fantastic. It's so funny. So my I'm, mom would get I'm, hyped up about stuff too. Once my mom got hyped up and said that the devil was going to cut one of my brother's heads off oh, if cool. she didn't walk a thousand miles. So she started walking and uh, she didn't make it. <laughs> she eventually just gave up and said, I guess he could just go ahead and cut that one's head <laughs> off. He take I know. Him. It's fine. Yeah. It was kind of, it was kind of awesome. We used to tease him mercilessly. Like, Hey, remember that one time mom thought you mom. were going to get your head and she just gave up. She said like, ah, I went mom four miles. The, <laughs> mom made a deal with the devil. And <laughs> yeah, she walked four miles and she just said, ah, he can go. He can die. I never really liked him anyway. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, moms are the best, huh? They are so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, that's it for the news this week. What's up, everybody? Today's episode of Super Gamer Boys is brought to you by Podcoin. Do you like listening to the Super Gamer Boys? Of course you do. It's the greatest podcast of all time. Well, the Podcoin app pays you to listen to the podcast and every podcast. It's the podcast player that pays. Just get the Podcoin app on the iPhone or Android. It's free and super easy to use. You can use the Podcoin you earn to claim gift cards or to donate it to charity. It literally is amazing. It turns your podcast listening into charity. Or if you like, just get some Amazon or Starbucks gift cards. I use it all day while I'm working doing pest control around people's houses, and it makes my life so much easier. I use the PodCoin app to do all of my podcast listening now, and I love it. Go get it on the App Store or Android today. Seriously, just go get the PodCoin app and use invite code GAMERBOYS. That's G-A-M-E-R-B-O-Y-S, GAMERBOYS. You'll get 300 PodCoin just for signing up if you use my code. There's 300 PodCoin just for signing up. If you use the code GAMERBOYS, go give the PodCoin app a try today. What do you say we get into uh, our last little segment here? Like we said, this is going to be a short episode. We just thought we'd kind of uh, test run some some fun little things here. So, And this um, is not necessarily exactly what it is going to be, but there these are these are things that it could potentially be yeah. if we were to We're uh, testing to the do, waters. Yeah. We're testing the waters. Trying to feel out what it, what it's like <laughs> to get outside of the box and do stuff that's uh decidedly a little different than the regular format that we normally do as well as like the video game portions. Yeah. So what we have uh what we, I did last week, I put out a poll on uh, somebody danced on it. <laughs> right? None of that. Right? None of that. What? Uh our okay. listeners answered a question a questionnaire. I put out a questionnaire. Um, a survey of sorts, I guess. Why didn't I get that survey or questionnaire? Because you don't go on social media because you're old. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> Um, and, uh, the question was, what's a weird or random irrational fear that you have that you also don't mind us talking about and possibly making fun of? (laughs) Um, I put that out there without people realizing that we were going to be doing an episode here making fun of them. But, uh, before we get to those responses, I thought, why don't we share a couple of our own? 
You want yep, me to go, go first? Ahead. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Because okay. okay. I want to see if yours is like really bad and then I can always make mine sound better. So I have this irrational fear um, of water parks. <laughs> Get out of here. Who the heck's afraid of water parks? So... Were you afraid of like a wet t-shirt kind of thing? <laughs> no. So here, here's the deal too, because this last, oh, so this last weekend as a recording in Oregon, we did a big family trip to a water park where we were. And I was just like, are, are you, you kidding me? Like, why wasn't I told about this before like today? Because, like we're going this afternoon. Because we all know you're afraid. And, <laughs> and I was just like, you got to be kidding me. Like, why did no one mention this to me? Like, oh, you're kidding. This I, is beautiful. I had no idea. And so here we go to this water park. And it wasn't like a huge, it wasn't like a, I don't know, like it wasn't like anything crazy, like Six Flags, Darien Lake type thing or something. Uh, only people in New York know what Darien Lake is, but, uh, <laughs> um, or Seabreeze. Shout out to Seabreeze. Um, <laughs> you know, there's one guy going, yeah, yeah Seabreeze, yeah, ah, Seabreeze. <laughs> but uh, it's not like I'm afraid of like seeing a water park because that's what everyone like started making fun of me. Like, are you scared yet? Are you going to pee your pants? I'm like. I'm fine with seeing a stupid water park. Like, I'm not going to, like, cry because I saw a water slide. But I do. I am, like, so afraid of, like, going down a water slide or going down, like, a tube or something like that. Like, that freaks me the heck out. Have you done those things before? So, yes. I mean, I just talked about Darien Leg. I talked about Seabreeze. Growing up, like, we went a lot. Like, we went as kids and as families, and we would go, all my cousins, we'd go to a water park. So tell me, Garrett, was there some type of a bad reaction? Did somebody touch you inappropriately as you <laughs> no. go down the slide? No what bad. is it? Tell Dr. Ruth right now. The, o- the only bad touching that happened uh, <laughs> it wasn't a water slide, but it was by the water slide itself. Oh, no. <laughs> Garrett, you don't have to share that on the podcast. You, you, don't have, you keep it to so, yourself. I know. I I went down. Uh, I went down a water slide, and I was going real fast. I was a big kid. I was a real big kid, uh, and apparently, I had a very uh, hydrodynamic body, though, because uh, wait, hydrodynamic? Yeah, like I f- fly really fast through the water. <laughs> I have like even though I'll e- go, I'll roll even with it. even with all the all the all the chunky you know, muffin top and man boobs that were going on. Oh, that's funny. That's right. Garrett claims that he was heavy. He's like when I met him, I was like the first kid. thing out of his mouth, I go, "Hey, I'm Jaden." He goes, "I used to be fat." I'm like, "What the <laughs> hell?" What is it? Like he, like he was so uncomfortable. He was, he was sweating all crazy. I, I used to, I used to be fat too. I was fat. I I was a big kid. I was a real big kid. Um, but uh, I flew through that water slide too fast to the point where when I hit the water at the bottom, I actually got injured where my rib cage, like, or like my ribs or something with my ribs, rib cage got shifted to the point where it's pressing against my lungs. I could not breathe like, well, I was like gasping oh. for a, that went on for like a month. And finally my mom's like, maybe we should take you to a doctor. I'm like, yeah. Yes, <gasps> please. <laughs> it's really Man, to, you're, you're, <laughs> Mrs. Morling, I'm not real sure right now. I'm hearing some horrible uh, stuff today. Anyways, we uh we went to a chiropractor and he's like oh, a friend of ours with a chiropractor, he like just took care of us. He's like, Oh yeah, like your ribs are all checked up and he like literally had to like shove stuff in the place. He's like standing on my back and like elbowing me and like, you know, full on like grabbing each of my arms and like with his foot like shoving and pushing and like it was crazy but uh holy cow my foot just got stuck in the microphone cord (laughs) i just did the kicking motion um and uh yeah man my ribs are out of place and since then i've like nope no water slides for me i'm good i think i've only gone on like maybe one or two since then and that was a long time ago it was like probably 15 years or so it was a long time ago uh i think i've only gone on like one water slide uh I was visiting an ex-girlfriend in Texas, and in Texas they have a water park called Schlitterbahn, which is like one of the biggest water park in the world, or at least the United States. It's huge. Like, that's all it is. It's like the size of like Disney World, but it's all water rides, and I'm like, no, this is the worst. Uh, and I went on one because I was like, well, it's my girlfriend, and I can't not go on a water side with her. Cause it was like a double tube thing. She's like, I need someone to go with me. I'm like, okay. I'll do it. <laughs> it was death. I just, it was death. Oh, I can see the fear of your face as <laughs> you're describing death. it. And it sounds horrible. It was, it, it was big. It was fast and it was scary and it was not worth it. 
especially wow. since you know it, it, it was now it's like uh oh, i did that for an ex-girlfriend uh what was oh, that man. all those stupid things you do for you know ex-girlfriends but yeah so we that's should my, shame her on facebook no right? let's <laughs> not do that we're not gonna do that we'll shame her on twitter but uh we can do that in 140 characters but yeah, that's that's my fear. Water parks. Um, that's that's a pretty bad one. Well, hey, that's the show, folks. We pre- <laughs> no, 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 no. What? You need to share one of yours. I have a fear that my credit score will. No, 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 no. <sighs> you got to share one of the ones you shared with me earlier. <laughs> See, you revealed your hand too soon. See, I, I never reveal my <laughs> hand to you because you steal my things. <laughs> Dude, wouldn't that be the greatest thing ever? If you were like, oh, yeah, JJ, my fear is water parks. And then I was like, oh, I'll go first. I'm deathly afraid of water parks. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be pretty, pretty awesome on my part. Okay. I could only imagine your face. God, I wish I did that now. Oh, I wish I did that. No, it would be horrible. It would have been funny, though. I mean, not to anybody else but me, <laughs> but I would have loved it. <laughs> well, what's your fear? Come on, stop stalling All right. here. All right. So I've got I got a couple of couple of pretty big fears. So uh, first one, first one. <laughs> I, I'm laughing before you even say it because it's to me it's just so ridiculous. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I have the worst fear of being buried alive. <laughs> like, <laughs> unbelievably scared of being buried alive like i i i'm not claustrophobic in the way that like mm-hmm. a blanket's over my head and I'm like oh my gosh there's a blanket on my head like no 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 i'm fine i i'm so worried that i'm gonna die and be put into a casket and not be dead and i'm gonna wake up in the casket and it's gonna be like one of those like <laughs> buried alive movies or like the edgar Allan poe um you know just being in the casket. Like and years I, later, grave robbers come by your grave and, and there's like scratch the, marks inside. Dude, <laughs> like it's, it's like, it's not even like, I, it's so irrationally stupid. It but is like, so stupid. But dude, I'm like, here's how bad it is. Like, you know, like when people die, like they drain all the fluids out of it. Like there's like, a, for the chances of you staying and alive. And I'd be the or, one but, guy that lived. Yeah. I'd be the one guy that go, he was I don't mo- need blood. He, what? <laughs> he mostly had butter in there. It was butter and bacon fat. They, he li- I don't know how he did it. They, just, they, they drain all the food down their body and it's just stick it in a jar of Crisco and sell it on the that's shelf. That's it. That's it. No, uh, I, I, I honestly was like, I just need to be cremated. I need to be cremated. Like that's. What if you're still alive in the cremation chamber? You'd rather be burned alive I'd than buried be alive. alive. Yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> Just put alive. that. Be Isn't a, that sad? That fun picture in your but head. like that's legitimately. Where I, and then there's also another part of me that's like, well, it's a little cheap, but it just creepy. <laughs> you know, you're not paying for. <laughs> Is that sad? That's sad. A little bit. A little yeah. bit sad. Yeah, I like unbelievably afraid of being buried alive. Well, here, I, here's the deal: Is it to just alleviate any any fears you have, like. If you would like, after you die, in quotes or whatever, I will be sure. I'll come by. Um, I got a shotgun. <laughs> I'll just put tooth through your head. <laughs> Why? I'll make. I'll double. You always double tap. That's what you know. You that's, said, that's the zombie code. You, you double, double tap. tap. Yeah, you got to make sure you, they're you, dead. You just said that, and your eye twitched really <laughs> funny. Like I got the impression like you've been thinking about this a lot. Uh, a little bit. You know, I just know how it's such a big fear for you. And oh, so you're it's, just... It's, it's for you. I'm so doing this for you. You're doing it out of out of a necessity of friendship Complete, to try to... like, love and, you know, care for you because I know how much this would mean yeah. to you. Wow. And you're... Pro- well, your family would probably not appreciate Aaron, it. I feel like uh, I feel like we're moving towards that next step of being best but, friends. Yeah, if you die, I'll I'll blow your head off afterwards. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Garrett. You and me, buddy. I'll do whatever it takes to make you happy. I, Love that you would be willing to shoot me in the face. I, thank you, Gary. So, I'm, so I won't be buried, uh, buried alive. I mean, it's better than being buried alive. Am I right? <laughs> you know, actually, it, it is. It scares me a whole lot less. <laughs> <laughs> quick, quick, and painless. Yeah, I know that it probably sounds so stupid. Like just like your water, but your water park thing is way stupider. <laughs> You say that, but all you did is you, you, you didn't really roast me too bad. You said it was stupid that, you know. Yeah, I didn't want to. I don't want to hurt you your feelings. You don't want to hurt my feelings. You know, I don't I'm hurt fragile your feelings. It is because true. I didn't want to tell I'm you, but fragile. I did I did get us some tickets to go to uh, Marine World. Marine World. And, uh, <laughs> Great. Yeah. I I was going to have us ride the killer whale together, you know, like bareback. <laughs> It, but they, I, they have they have tickets for that. They do. Okay, how much did that set the do. Super Gamer Boys back? 
<laughs> All right, so on the credit card. So we're going to have... Oh, we have a credit card. Okay, well, you said your fear was bad credit. You didn't tell me you took uh, out a credit card in our name. So. Speaking of that, uh, <laughs> I already pre-ordered two of the switches. Hey, awesome. so uh, what, there is, what's the next article that we're going to no, be talking no, about? No more articles, but uh, um, how about we... Uh, Oh, let's see. You want to talk about some of our, our listeners That's that what I'm reached thinking. out? We did it. We, we put did that we question. We did that question. Yeah, we mentioned it earlier. So here mm-hmm. are some of our listeners' responses. Um, my, uh, my own mother. Is afraid of having children. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> She's afraid of taking her son who's dying of rib problems to the doctor. <laughs> That's the fear. <laughs> that, I understand, uh, Mrs. Morling. So, so this is this comes from uh, straight from the mother's mouth. Uh, any grates on sidewalks? Um, that's hey, what? So, like, like you those uh, those I don't know, maybe like sewer grates and stuff like that, storm yeah. drain and stuff like that. Yes, afraid of falling through them. Really? Yeah, apparently. That's a fear. That's a fear. Like, so you've she's... never walked down a sidewalk and like the grate like moves a little, like, dum, dum, and always makes a little sound, and well, you've, yeah. you've never had your like heart sink a little bit. Like, oh, it's falling, and then, like, no, it just rocked a little bit. <laughs> no, but I, I have had my heart sink a little bit at the thought of being double tapped like a zombie, <laughs> but, <laughs> but never walking through a grate and, just, okay. and it falling. Oh. And I, you know what would happen to me? I'd be like a dang cartoon, and, like, the grate would go through, and then I'd realize, and you see Whoa! it on my face, like, oh, and like... I'd run in the air, like, with my feet not on the ground, whoop, 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 and then I'd fall through. You'd fall through, and you'd slide through the sewers, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle style That's or something pretty, like that. pretty, pretty much, yeah. Okay. Um, she was afraid of under beds and behind doors, uh, especially at night, because uh, she had older siblings that tortured her growing up so that, that, that's a justifiable <laughs> okay. uh, irrational I underst- fear there i understand that fear completely and mrs morling let me tell you i actually have a, a phd in j- jumping behind doors and scaring the crap out of people it's one of my so favorite- you were so you were the the, oh, the, the uh, scare you dude, the- uh, i'm merciless i like here's the thing i don't know what it is about about doing that to people but it's one of my favorite things in the whole world. And I know I'm going to get hit sometime. And it hasn't happened. I'm 40. It hasn't happened Don't yet. Don't do it to me. <laughs> Don't do it to my mom. So I will never do it to Mrs. Morling. I love her to death. But you know what? I I honestly, I've got some tricks that I'll let out of the bag right now as far as jumping out at people like that from behind doors. Uh, I like to do this thing because I'm a short man. You know, I'm like 5'8 or whatever. Um, what? Yeah. Six, five, six. Okay. Well. Okay. <laughs> five, four, and three quarter. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> so here's the deal, and that's legit. That's a shoot. So the thing is, is that uh, I like to like kneel on the ground when somebody's coming out of like, let's say, a bathroom, and like they're in there and you hear the flush and they're washing the hands and they're getting ready to turn the light off because they're going to come out, and I'm like in a dark hallway, and like I'll be squatted on the ground, and literally when they open the door, ah! and like, you just gotta jump it up. You have like a crazy face and like, oh my God, it is, so it is the greatest thing ever. It is the greatest thing ever. It is so exhilarating. It's like, it's what life is all about. It's You're amazing. The You're the worst. You're a horrible human being. Ah, why does everybody always say that? Oh no. Okay. Uh, another uh, listener out there, Isaac, uh, he's... Uh, buddy of mine, uh, being covered head to toe in bumps on my body. <laughs> that was my junior year. Junior. <laughs> I, I had the, the whole junior year, I had bumps all over. That's that's really, that's a strange... And it wasn't acne. <laughs> it wasn't acne, no. <laughs> no. Some people would call it a bacterial infection, uh, but it did go away with creams and lotions. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's what we wanted to talk about on our funny podcast was JJ's ointment. <laughs> Me rubbing it all over myself. <laughs> uh, Eddie Martin, uh, I hate being shocked. It's the weirdest thing. I'm always aware of how much carpet I've crossed. And before I touch a door handle, I hit a non-metal surface first before I touch it. I make an extra attempt to avoid all shocking. Oh, yeah, uh, that, that just sounds psychotic. I'm just going to throw I that would, out I there. was going to say that just sounds smart. <laughs> I was just, that's just good sense right there. You're just not trying to get shocked. If you've been shocked before, it sucks. It's not that bad. It's not that good either. No, but I, this is, this is, uh, this is absurd. This is like uh psychotic level, like serial killer business here. Well. He's, he said he is, 
he's always aware of how much, how much, like a distance, a measurement of how much carpet he's walked across. Like as he's taking stuff in his head, like, so when he's walking across the living room, he's like, he's like one foot, two foot. No, and he's doing math in his head. So I'm picturing like, like Rain Man. He's like twelve steps, twelve steps. We're gonna go more twelve steps and three, three, three. three and I, oh, he touched so, so the nut metal. No, he touched that. Do he? Oh, he, no shock. We know. Sorry. <laughs> no, but that so that's that's what I get from this. So Eddie, I'm sorry. We were friends. I don't know if we can be friends anymore. It's a little obsessive, a little crazy. I don't want to be murdered in your bathroom. Right. Um, speaking of bathrooms, this has nothing to do with irrational fears, but. So I don't know if I told I don't know if you told this but told you this but we've moved into our new apartment, um, our new house. In the, our bathroom, in our shower, it's all it was originally only a bathtub, and they added later a shower head to it, which it's all like janky, like kind of screwed, like silicone glued to the wall. It's like I need to fix it or get it fixed. But anyways, because of that, there's no like tile around the bathroom. It's a sheetrock. And so when we take a shower, all the sheetrock's getting wet, which is bad. So this is a solution my my parents, my mom came up with. She's just like, why don't you just hang shower curtains up all the way around? Like, just hang up shower curtains. And I'm just like, yeah, if I want my bathroom to look like a serial killer, like, kill room. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's like Dexter level. Like, I'm like, you know, tra- entrapping people, like, drugging them, throwing them in my bathtub, and they wake up with shower curtains around them. And then I oh. open up, I'm like, it's time. Oh, <laughs> you know, no. and stabbing people in the neck. Like, I'm not going to put shower curtains up all the way around my <laughs> shower. Like, it's going to look so ridiculous. <laughs> it look like an operating room or like a kill floor in there. Like, that's oh, not what man. I want. That's not the aesthetic I want for my bathroom. You I don't think de- Trudy wants that aesthetic you either. You definitely don't want that. <laughs> but I love where your head's at, Mrs. Morling. I just, <laughs> I, I I would suggest not doing that, Garrett, uh, just because you don't want anybody to come over and be like, uh, hey, can I use your bathroom? Oh yeah, it'll be it'll be a right day that hall. like like Trudy cuts her leg shaving or something in the shower. And there's a little bit of blood. And they're just oh. like, oh no, they're like you know it's it. them and their wife. Like my like you know husband and wife, are, and the wife comes out like, we gotta go. Down. Oh yeah, we you can go. only we imagine. Go. <laughs> you can only imagine like coming over to the door. Hey, are you guys all right? You've been in there a while. <laughs> like, oh my god, he be so angry. He sounded angry. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I was like, no, I'm not a psychopath. I'm not hanging. I'm not going to make my room look like a scene from Dexter, you know, (laughs) make my bathroom look like that. Uh, Here is uh, another response by Justin Ellen. Uh, My grandma's hundreds of Cabbage Patch Kids dolls coming to life while I'm sleeping there. In her guest room, she had uh, a bunch of Cabbage Patch dolls all still in their boxes, staring at me with those cold, dead eyes as I slept. Get out of that dang house. <laughs> That's this now this I asked for irrational fears. This is completely rational. No, this is totally rational. Like I think my comment back was even like that sounds like hell. I'm having nightmares now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you right now if that if that room existed in any house that I've ever been in and I walked through that room, I would walk right back out. There is no way in hell I would sleep in that room. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. No. Because you're I would begging get a hotel. you're begging the devil to screw with you. <laughs> you're like saying, "Please, <laughs> Please screw with me. It's just no. Uh, Have you guys not seen Child's Play? Right. No. Annabelle, any of those? No. This is bad news. Oh, my, man. My that's, daughter, that's a completely rational fear. My daughter has has a, a very bad fear of dolls coming to life and, and killing her, my 16-year-old. Yeah. And so what she- What kid didn't? So, and, and I desperately want to like, hey, you got to watch Chucky. <laughs> I just, no, I, never, ruin her for I would never would. Ruin no, her. But, she, but she does not- she does. She's just like I don't know. Like I, I read a story or something. There was like a a goosebump story or something like that. Or I okay, think yeah. I think some girls told her uh, like scary stories, spooky stories at a sleepover once. Okay. And it was about a doll coming to life, and you'd see it move and blah blah blah. And so she's got the worst fear. So this cabbage patch doll thing, I'm going to share this with her when I get home today, and see what she said. But what, who was this that gave us this one? Justin. Justin. Never go to grandma's house again. Never. 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 <laughs> Never. <laughs> Just tell her, Grandma, I'm out the will. I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sick. Uh, okay. Uh, Kylie uh, Lou, this is actually our Patreon producer's wife, um, commented. What's up, K-Dog? <laughs> a snake hiding in my toilet and sneak attacking while I pee. They don't have pee. Pee snakes. There's no such thing. <laughs> no such thing as a pee pee snake. But you I don't have anything to worry about. But pee pee snakes not real. It's not real. 
But uh, uh, poo poo snakes. Poo poo snakes. Those are legit. Those are super legit. Those are real. Uh, watch out for those. Pee pee snakes are good. Yeah, fine. you're fine. Um, Grace Merchandani, uh, wrong <laughs> buying the wrong brand of Q-tips. Okay, so <laughs> okay, so so this this fear is buying the wrong brand as opposed to yes. the actual Q-tip brand. Right. So buying like Equate brand from Walmart right. instead of Q-tip so brand. So here's the deal at my house. We have the only Q-tip brand Q-tip uh, law as well, right? Uh huh. I always buy the Equate and take the Equate and shove it into the Q-tip box. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, dude, it's the same. It is the exact same. Nobody can tell the difference. Oh, I can tell the difference. There's a difference. Nobody can tell there the difference. There is a difference. I mean, we have we have generic brand right now because Trudy went to, like, grocery outlet and bought Q-tips <laughs> at our grocery outlet. Hey, you got to clean and your uh, ears, you got to clean your ears. <laughs> but there's definitely a difference there. Um, our very own Star Andrews uh she all she said at first was, "Have you seen Deep Blue Sea?" And then I was like, "No." It's a great movie from 1999, and it's about sharks that are given intelligence, and all of a sudden they're smart sharks. Exactly. So I was like, "No," but reading this plot synopsis sounds terrifying. Uh, and she said, "Yeah." So take the plot, stand in the shower, and assume the whole room could be filled with sharks. Smart <laughs> sharks. Smart sharks. <laughs> do 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 do. <laughs> 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 and then she said a shark would fit in a house. Oh man, that was awesome. And then she goes on to say like just the dark and she's afraid of strangers or animals like running towards her and attacking her. <laughs> I'm like, well, yeah, that that's that's again, that's a rational fear. Like that's that'd be terrifying. Um and shower drains. She's afraid of shower drains, won't get near them thanks to the original It movie. Oh that movie is fantastic. I've never seen the original. Yeah. I've just seen the newer the reboot one. Uh, the the shower drain thing is is a is a perfectly understandable fear. Like there's a lot of people who have that fear. A um, couple other silly 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 fears. I grew up in the age of the original Jaws movie being really popular, so I remember being afraid being in a swimming pool, worried about shark coming after me. <laughs> it sounds crazy, I know, but I would not go in an open body of water. I, there's no way that I would that I would do that. You've never been like in the ocean at the beach? No, I have. I have. I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> I, I, I will never. I go will never over. again. Oh yeah. I've now that it. I'm <laughs> smart, you know. Uh, no, I went. I went surfing once with uh, with a group from my high school, and uh, we went we went surfing. And there was like these older. They were like. I I don't believe one bit of this story from here on. You surfing? I can't see you surfing. I couldn't stand up. But it was true. Yes. Okay. So uh, did you have the long hair? I did have long hair. Good. Okay. I did have long hair. Then you're hair. good. Yeah. I believe so, the story now. <laughs> <laughs> right. <clears throat> and um, I couldn't. I could not stand up. There's no way that I could stand up. But we were at a place called Private's Beach in Santa you know Cruz, California. <laughs> yeah. I think it was because that's where everybody exposed themselves. I'm not really sure. Um, we go out and there's these, like, these old hippie dudes, long hair, the the white. Uh, suntan stuff on their noses, yeah. you know, and they're like, T- I swear, I swear they were like total stereotypical guys and they're like, you know, paddling out to the water, you know, and they're like taking you way out deep in the water and stuff. And like, I just asked them, I was like, hey, are there like sharks out here? I think I'm like 17 at the time. And they're like, oh no, man, they're like way, way out further. Like, don't even worry. And like, we went really far out and I'm like freaking out because it's like, Holy crap! We're like in open water, and I'm I'm like my heart is beating like crazy, and they're like, dude, it's cool. They're dude, they're way out there, and I'm like, okay. So I just I rode in on my stomach, couldn't stand up, and it was really fun. It was cool, right? I did it like two or three times, and yeah, sounds like a yeah, blast. Whatever, whatever. And uh, <laughs> I saw something on the news maybe a year later, and there was a helicopter footage of Private Beach. There had been shark attacks. That year. No way. And there was helicopter <laughs> footage of this Santa Cruz beach uh, right over the top of it where you could see crazy amounts of sharks all underneath <laughs> all these swimmers and surfers. That is awesome. You could see crazy amounts of them. And I'm like looking and looking at this video <laughs> And it's like a year after and I was sick to my stomach like, <laughs> oh my God. Like all I needed was for them to see the fat seal looking guy and go like, oh my gosh, hey, uh, hey, Tommy, Tommy, hey, what's up? 
Did you see the fat kid up there on the surfboard? He can't even stand up. Dude, he smells like bacon. Let's go get some. I mean, come on. No, that that is that is so perfect, so great. I tell me though, you, you immediately went out, like grabbed your surfboard, and just like lit it on fire, like never again. Yeah, I would never touch a surfboard I again could, in my life. No, I couldn't afford one, but I did go and do that to somebody else's surfboard, and it was You're weird because like, I did. You a favor. It was a neighbor's house. I just. <laughs> Oh, man. So uh, is there anything else that Garrett Morgling is afraid of that he wishes to share with our loving listeners? Um, no, not that. Okay. All right, I'm going to give you one more. One more irrational, stupid okay. fear. I'm definitely afraid of flying. Like ridiculously afraid of really? flying. Really? Oh, God. Flying. Yeah. Like in an airplane, yes. I never, ever wanted to do it. Ever. Why? And, uh, it's so great. Like, I've flown all over the world. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's really amazing. I to disagree. You're <laughs> an idiot when you say stuff like that. I, I've only been on a plane a handful of times now. Um, I blew an eardrum out on it one time trying to, like, my ears were plugged. What? I pinched my nose and I blew to try to, like, pop my eardrum. Well, I popped my eardrum. What the heck? Well, I, and, like, it just, it was the most horribly painful thing. There was clicking and crap and my ear was jacked up for a year Jeez. it was so bad but um i i think i think that what's really happening here is you're not afraid of flying you're afraid <clears> of <throat> popping your eardrum again. no no i was afraid of flying i i'm what they call a teetotaler i don't drink or anything like that but i i end up getting on the plane i've never heard that phrase before i just made it up okay so google that so i ended up getting on the plane for the for the first time going to washington my dad and, and my stepmom moved to washington state And we decided to go there. My daughter was like six years old. And uh, it was just Janet and I and and my daughter. And uh, we didn't have the two younger ones yet. So she's like six years old. And and, uh, we get on the plane and I'm so afraid. Like I'm legitimately shaking. And I don't drink. But I told my wife, Janet, I'm drinking on this dang plane. And she's like, what kind of an example you sitting on my like, uh, example where I don't crap myself and cry, <laughs> you know? So, so, uh, when the lady came by, like, which, Oh gosh, I was, I was so scared. I'm standing there shaking. And like, before they bring the cart, there's like a long time before they bring the alcohol cart, you know, yeah. some people call it the refreshments. I call it the alcohol cart. They got, they got to get up to the right altitude. Yeah, yeah. 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 So the craziest thing, Janet's trying to like, open up the little screen so she can look out and I'm like close it, close it I don't want to see through that close it and she's like what and I'm like close it I don't want to see through that you know and then like my daughter reaches over six years old and she grabs she grabs daddy's hand <laughs> and looks up at me and legitimately says it's okay daddy oh my you're okay and I'm like uh, oh shut up don't tell me that yeah. no I'm just kidding no, it was just it broke my heart that I'm so scared. And when the when the alcohol cart came by, I said like, I am really nervous. Can I get two of those, please? And like I got two drinks or whatever, and it was like a two drink minimum or maximum. You couldn't have any more than that. And later, like, you're, told, you're telling your wife, can you order me two more right? drinks? I should have done the that. Six year old. It, oh, two for her too. Yeah, they're expensive. <laughs> they're expensive. I'm like, she's a midget. It's okay. <laughs> so uh, the lady comes by a little while later, and uh, she's like. It's a really sweet little Southern lady. And she goes, honey, are you doing okay? And I and I was actually kind of like a little relaxed and calm. Like a little, like not all the way, but it was a little bit relaxed and calm. And I said, no, I am so scared still. You think I can like get another drink? And she's like, yeah, I think we can get you another one. <laughs> and then got me a third one. And like I looked at Janet and she was like, what the? Dude, you can't be getting drunk. And I'm like, I'm not getting drunk. I'm fat. It takes a lot for me to get drunk. So I just, but it, you know what? The third drink relaxed me and mellowed me out where I was like, I don't care. I'm like doing okay. I'm still nervous. We hit like a, a little, you know, air pocket or whatever. And I, I crap a little bit. Well, the problem was when we landed on this first flight. Okay. <laughs> we, right before we landed, right before we landed, I was like, no, I'm sorry. I, I mix it up. I'm in the air and I have to pee really bad. The alcohol has now hit my bladder and it's saying, Hey, fat man, go pee now. Where are you flying to? Washington? Washington? That's only like an hour and a half long flight. Hour and a half, right? Like, it's not that far. Right. So I had to pee. <laughs> so I jump up. I jump up. And then I'm like, I can't walk while the plane is in the air. I can't walk while the plane is in the air. It's like this weird 
thing where I'm like, the plane is in the air flying. I can't walk in it to the thing. And like my legs are shaking and I can't do it. Oh my gosh. And I'm like, I'm you're, gonna, you're a psychopath. I'm going to piss crazy. myself right now. <laughs> I'm going to pee everywhere all over myself. Or I'm like, oh. this is gonna, I'm going to cry. Like it's going to be bad. So like, I like, I like ninja walk to the bathroom and like made it in. And here's where hilarity ensues. It is so hard when you are a fat guy to get into a little tiny oh, thing where you have it's, to pee. It's, it's hard when you're a skinny guy. Trust me, I have a hard time getting in those bathrooms. So I so I peed and everything, and then like I walked back to the seat and sat down, and I was like, oh, okay, okay, I'm doing great. And as we're getting ready to land, I have to pee again. Like where I'm like, oh, no, I got to pee again. And it's like an emergency pee. And I'm like, what the heck? I just did that. Apparently, I was so scared I didn't empty it out. So, <laughs> oh so I'm like, oh, no. So I have to like now wait until we land. So I'm like sitting there and I'm waiting. And as soon as we landed, I undid the belt real quick and jumped up to go back to the bed. And like the ladies grabbed the microphone. Sir, sit down. Sir, you need to sit back in your seat. Sir, sit down. And I'm like, oh, but uh, pee. And they're like, sit down now, sir. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I sat down in a chair that wasn't mine. And I'm like, oh, God, I got to pee so bad. It was not good. The oh, moment no. that it's, yeah, it was like, yeah. And I've, I've been on the plane a few times since. My father-in-law offered me to get in the plane with him this past weekend. You're like, no, sir. You want to go flying with me, son? <laughs> no, no, sir. No, I do not. No, I do not. <laughs> I'll burn your plane down. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, pretty much. Keep you. I, I've been in there once with him before. He was actually the first time I got in a plane was with him because he's like, uh, he's an awesome, awesome Christian man. And he's like, what are you worried about, son? And I'm like, I'm worried about dying. And he's like, but you know where you're going, so why are you afraid? And I'm like, dang, you caught me on a technicality. Oh, okay. All right, we'll do it. You know, and I got in there and I was That's like. It's almost kind of like a little little creepy, though. Yeah, like, oh, a you little know bit. It's a, so you'll be fine if I go like this and it just like nosedives the thing. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, here's the bad part. All another mur- I don't know what's up with my life and like murder ploys and like me murdering people or other people murdering people in my life, but it's <laughs> right? just a common theme, I guess. Well, we went to land after doing the flight and I was like, you know, it's not so bad. We're up there and I'm like, it's kind of cool. I'm going over my house and blah, 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 right? We go to like. We go to like land at the airport, like we're, we're coming in and we're almost on the ground. And as we're coming in, a turkey flies up or some kind of like big bird flies up and almost goes into the propeller. Oh my God. And, he, and I've never heard him curse except for then. And he dropped the biggest F-bomb on earth. And he's like, <laughs> you have no idea how close we came to dying. <laughs> oh, no. And that was my first time in a plane. And I uh, was already uh, deathly afraid. I'm like, no. <laughs> well, this if it gives you any peace of mind, those big planes, birds go through them all the time, and they just keep on flying. So <laughs> <laughs> there's a bunch of feathers come out the other side. Uh, no, that's insane. Both those stories and the fact that you're afraid of flying, because it's really great. I uh, promise, it's great. You're really crazy. Uh, alrighty. Well, well, this has been a fun jaunt outside of the normal. Uh, Format that we do with yeah, Super Gamer just Boys. Just being a little silly, kind of telling some stories about our life. It's kind of a little different, a little more uh, personal. Yeah, it's a little more personal. Ooh, I feel like we're closer now, Garrett. Do you feel like we're closer now? No, not at all. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, thank you guys so much for listening, though, anyways, even though me and JD don't feel any closer. Nope. I feel closer to you guys, um, and I hope you feel closer to us at least. Uh, if you haven't already, I feel closer to those guys too. Yeah, good. I shared some deep stuff, man. Yeah, I know you really yeah. laid yourself out there <laughs> for everyone to laugh at because it's ridiculous. I'm just gonna say it. Oh yeah, water pork boy, you really want to <laughs> okay. do that? Well, you really? know, I I was injured. You know, I was injured. It's like more like a PTSD thing than any rational fear. <laughs> it's like I have like legitimate PTSD, but uh. Well, <laughs> you just you just got a little tipsy on a plane, like okay, yeah, whatever. Okay. <laughs> um, thank you so much for listening. Uh, if you uh, enjoyed this and you wanna um, hear us uh, continue to fine tune this type of thing, because um, like I said, if you love this, great. If you didn't love this, like we said before, this isn't a final product. We're sorry. <laughs> we're still we're obviously working out the kinks because we're used to doing a video game podcast, but we're like, why not just do a fun little podcast where we joke around, make fun of people, uh, make fun of ourselves, and also um, 
Let's tell some more life stories because people like that sometimes. So if you like that, go over to patreon.com slash supergamerboys. You can support us at any of the tiers there. Like we said, if we can get to 60 bucks a month uh, uh, with our, you know, between all of our supporters. We can retire. <laughs> no, not on 60 bucks, unfortunately. But uh, we will bring you bonus uh, a bonus episode every month of uh, our comedy podcast. And with that, we will... You know, only be it'll only be available to the Patreon list or supporters, and uh, yeah, you can enjoy some more goofs, some more laughs, some more stories from us of our life, uh, some more tears, crazy <laughs> things we've done. Um, if you uh, like this show or like our other show, uh, Super Gamer Boys, our actual show, uh, rate and review us over on iTunes. Uh, give us a uh, you know five stars over there. Leave a review download listen over there because that uh, itunes is really like the the metrics that matter in uh the podcast business like if you're not getting the podcast downloads and listens then um we uh we never will pop up in the charts over there so if you have an apple device go give us a shot uh, over there and help us out a bit um if you have any questions for us uh concerns um you want to send in some maybe fun segments we can do for a comedy podcast or something you have some ideas Hit us up at supergamerboys.com, Twitter and Instagram at supergamerboys, and then facebook.com slash supergamerboys. You can find me during the week uh, on Twitter at G Morlang. You can find me every once in a great while on Twitter at JJ Purdom. Like every, every once in a great while, like I maybe check out once like uh, every couple of months. Every couple of months, yeah. Um, thank you so much to Star Andrews for our logo. Check her out on Instagram at Ground Floor Graphics and Facebook.com slash Ground Floor Graphics. Uh, I promise you there's no sharks on the, either of those social medias, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you all for listening. It's been kind of refreshing to do something a little different. Yes, it is. So we will catch you guys next time on the Floppity Flip. No, you can't steal that. I, just, I steal everything here.